Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, also welcome. I hope you are having or have had a beautiful day whenever you're watching this. Um, as you can see by the title of the video, we're going to be having a very interesting time today. It's going to be a challenge. One of my very first challenges actually, because I've never done a challenge, let alone a makeup challenge. Um, and we're going to be using every single palette that I have or that it's in my collection, which to me is not that many, but to a lot of you it could be a lot. Um, this is inspired by Nikki Tutorial's video where she did her makeup using all her palettes. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. I did my base off camera. I have a video on it, I'll tag it up here right things on the side, on the side, whichever side it is, I'll put it on there. I did change up my base routine already, like, a lot, a lot. Um, so if you guys want an updated routine, let me know in the comments below, or just, if you don't, it's fine. I'll probably eventually do it anyway. Um, but if you do want it sooner, just let me know. So the way Nikki did it, Nikki did, she took out all her palettes, and then she individually picked the palette, picked the shade, and did it. Honestly, if I had 171 palettes, I would do the exact same, but I don't. So for my version, I'm doing a little, doing it with a little bit of a twist. Um, I have these two makeup bags by Morphe from the Pride collection. Um, and inside are little pieces of paper. I don't know if you can see them in there, Sh shaking about. Um, this one holds the number of palettes that I have, which is 15. And then this one holds a um, max number of 39, because that's how many shades I have in my biggest one. Um, and we're basically going to go all random. So in this one, we're going to pick, randomly pick a number without looking, obviously. Um, and we're going to choose from this lovely, oh god, it's going to fall. Ah, this lovely stack of palettes right here and it's actually going in numerical order for, so like number one all the way down to 15 um and oop. so we're just basically going to dig in here pick a random number and then choose the palette and once we choose the palette we're gonna go in the second bag and then randomly pick a number from in here and do that number shade from each palette if that makes any sense Alrighty, um we're gonna hop into it. I am <laughs> really afraid because I'm someone who likes having control, let alone I really don't even know what look we're gonna go for because I don't even know what the shades are gonna be like. So we're gonna roll with the punches here. Okay, so we're gonna choose the palette. It's gonna be number number 14. We're starting big. All right, so number 14 is my Morphe 24G Grand Glam palette. This is actually one of my very first, well, no. This is actually the very first palette I ever ordered. Um, so it's been through a lot. Now going into the second bag, we're gonna pick a random number in here and choose the shade. This is number six. So we're gonna go with this shade as our first color. That's not too bad. Um, oof. We're gonna get into a, a world I don't even want to be in. Alright, so grabbing a random brush, like a little small bullet brush, is the Morphe M507. We're gonna... I think I'm gonna go with, like, a halo eye shape kind of deal. I'm gonna put this on one eye and then do a different color on another eye with a different palette. Scrap that. We're gonna put it at the very outer corner on my left eye, right here. It's on there. It's, it's on there. <laughs> the most that I can say. <laughs> I didn't want to put a lot because we also have a lot of other palettes to go through and I really don't know what I'm going for. So we're gonna keep on trucking. Um, so we, we're gonna, Toss that over there. Um, so we do keep consistent. We are gonna take out the number that I did draw of the palette since I'm not gonna be using that palette anymore. Um, and we're just gonna pick a new one. 
Like a shake, 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 shake. I'm scared. Oh, okay. Palette. Oop. Palette number seven. Lucky number seven. Let's hope it is lucky. So they fell. <laughs> so palette number seven. We're doing the Tati Beauty Texture Neutrals palette. I'm not gonna lie to you, this just came in today and I'm very, very happy that I did because it's very beautiful and I first get to play with it today. Ironically, it's like in the challenge video so I don't really get to fully enjoy it. I don't know if I'm weird, but it smells kind of good. No, 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 I don't think it's supposed no, to have a smell, no, but it smells kind of good. No. All right, so we're gonna be using this one and then grabbing the other bag. 21, I don't think it has 21 shades. So this palette's kind of set up differently kind of because it has like glitters going up this well it's supposed to go this way but like glitters on the over here then metallic sequence and then mattes so i'm just honestly gonna go like this way down so number 21 would be the matte shade story this burnt orange right here having a different brush this is the Morphe M321. I'm just gonna pack, I think I'm gonna do this one on the crease and like blend it in there. Oh, oh, she's, she's pigmented. Oh dear. So, so far it doesn't look bad. I'm kind of here for it. Not mad at it. On to the next palette. This will be palette number three. Oh, it had to be one of the ones that fell. Dang it. Palette number three is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I actually really, really love this palette. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty over here. Okay, now choosing the shade from this bag. Shade number five. That would be one, two, three, four, five. It's a metallic, oh gosh, okay. I'm grabbing a like flatter brush, like a packing flatter brush. Um, this is the Morphe M124. We're gonna dip into shade Sultry in here, the fifth shade in the palette. Okay, it's on there. I'm not gonna mess with it since I have a lot more shades to go through. So far, it's not bad. I just hope we get another color so I can blend that right there because it's gonna look really harsh if I don't. Jumping into the next palette. How are you guys doing? Comment down below. All right, we're gonna go in with palette number eight. So palette number eight is a tried and true, Miss Jaclyn Hill. Okay, choosing the shade. We're gonna go with shade number 10. Shade number 10 is feeling myself this orangey shade honestly i'm so happy with this one i can use this to blend right there and that would be mwah, perfect Ooh. well can't go back now <laughs> commit honestly i'm not hating it um it's not the color i would choose to put there but it's fine it totally washed out the first shade but yeah, it's it's on there. I will say disclosure that I did put some highlighting palettes in here because I it said palette and I counted it as a palette. My rules don't judge me. Digging back in here. We're gonna go with wow, ironically. Palette number five. Palette number five. Got it. Which shade are we getting? Shade number three. That's good! Yeah, it's this orangey one. We're gonna go with that one. That's good. That's so far not hit. I think I'm gonna put that on this eye. Grabbing another Morphe M M321. I'm gonna dip into that shade. I really wanna put this bold and brave in my inner corner. I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love that. <laughs> All right, moving on. 
palette number six. Watch me call the number again. It's okay. I hate me too. Honestly, this is one of my most recent grabs. I'm really excited to try this. This is from Laura Lee Los Angeles. Love her. Um, this glaze palette. First off, pans are freaking massive. Like that's huge. So out of those four, let's find our judgment. Gonna dig in here, pick one. It's gonna be shade number four, cinnamon sugar. Oh dear. All right, grabbing a Morphe R36 brush. We're gonna dig into shade or Sister, no. Commit, we're gonna go for it. It's really pretty, I love that. Okay, so next palette, hopefully, I'm not even gonna say a number this time because so far I've predicted five, predicted six, and I'm just gonna stay quiet and not say the other number. Number 12, Dulce in Espanol. All right, before I show you guys this palette, um, I will say it is, it is discontinued. It was replaced already by another palette that I have, um, but this, is the original rainbow palette, the Morphe 35B. First off, this is a major throwback for me because this is my first ever rainbow palette, honestly my first and only before the James palette. Um, and I stopped using it for that reason because I did not want to dig into any more shades and like destroy this because I knew they discontinued it. We're still gonna dig into it and we're gonna get in the colorful realm already and I'm scared. Picking the shade. 34. I don't know if there's 34 shades in here, but we'll figure that one out. Okay, so I counted. It took a, not that long. Um, this is shade number 34. We're still in the bronze. Like, this is crazy. I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line. Let's go for it. Using a Morphe 508, we're gonna dig into the shade, tap off the excess, and then just run it and smudge it on the lower lash. Ooh. I see no shimmer now. <laughs> and it's meant to be a shimmer. Okay, so far, I'm really not mad at it. The only thing that's kind of Crummy is this, this, the bottom shade. It's palette number 15. Would you look at that? Rainbow doubles. Choosing a shade 37. Oh god, that's really low. 37. A oh, purple. Oh my god. No! <laughs> Dang it! Okay, so grabbing an M441, we're gonna. I think I'm gonna put this one on this eye, because I don't wanna put purple on this, and it's already like. Nope. And we're gonna put it at the very outer corner right here, and then blend it into the crease. So I might have gone a little bit overboard but I'm not gonna lie it's not look that bad I feel like we're having like a whole different dramatic here we're gonna have like a smoky purple over here <laughs> like it's smoked out and then this is gonna like sharp bronze going that way okay choosing the next one the next victim palette number nine palette number nine putting our fate into a couple shakes into the bag and we got number 11 the last one um not mad at this i think i can sneak this up here and like buff it out a little bit more let's do that oh oh my gosh oh no okay well we're gonna buff out the edges of this wing okay i see it a little bit more now. It's really, really, really faint. Um, it did what it did. 
what I wanted to do with buff and yeah it's pretty blended we're done if only you guys can see my desk okay this is palette number 10 palette number 10 um, I really do hope I get this shade right here to be able to blend that right there and it'll hopefully will connect to the very bright orange in the inner corner and i hope i get lucky shade number 14. okay so we're gonna be going into shade palm right here okay grabbing a m456 we're gonna buff it out into the lower lash line and blend it into the purple and hopefully it looks decent honestly not mad it looks beautiful with the purple it works really really well i'm quite shocked actually all right we are getting into very nitty-gritty here but before we continue if you haven't subscribed already what are you doing you're watching it you're making it this far and if you're enjoying it which i know you are hit that subscribe button it helps me out greatly and while you're down there hit the like button it's right next to it might as well and don't forget to turn on bell notifications so you know when i upload a new video jump into the next palette unlucky number 13 <laughs> maybe lucky let's hope lucky because this is one of my one of my tried and trues i love this palette this palette is so beautiful if you haven't seen it there she is okay choosing our fate let's go give me a pretty shade please i mean they're all pretty shade number five okay i'm not mad at that <laughs> okay grabbing a smaller brush this is a jh51 dipping into that shade oh it's a little pink it's <laughs> i'm so happy Okay, honestly, I feel like that's what I need in. It's pretty sheer, but it's meant to be sheer. It's really light. It's a really light baby pink, but it's helping diffuse that purple. All right, we have three more palettes. Three more. Come on. Two of them are highlighting palettes. No, four more palettes. Can I count? Apparently not. Got it. Palette number one. I really love this palette. First off, it has glitter. That's the word wet. How can you not love this? And it has one of my favorite shades in here. It's called Finished, with a question mark. It's a very light baby blue, and blue is my favorite color. I love this blue. It's so gorgeous. Um, I hope I don't get it, though, because I have nowhere to put it. Choosing the shade. Shade number seven. Whoa, boy. <laughs> We're gonna dip into shade Thickums right here. This very beautiful metallic. It's very, very pigmented. We're gonna place it here. I'm gonna regret this. I think I just ruined it. Number 11. Boom. I honestly hope I get this one because I would love that as a highlight on this side. Choosing our shade, please give me number two, number two, number two, number two, number two. Boom. I do not see it. <laughs> and that's just tea. Um, it's probably not even being picked up on camera. So we're gonna give it a chance, dig into it again, grabbing a little bit of Morphe setting mist and spritzing it. Um, it's, oh, it's there. It's there. Yep, not mad at it. Number four. My favorite highlighting palette of all time. The Morphe Babe in Paradise Bremen Collection. Bremen, if you guys haven't opened this or seen this. Okay, shaking it up. Let's find out which one. Shade number two. My favorite name of a shade ever. Vacation. 
So dipping in with the brush, just highlight the nose a little bit. Highlight the bridge of the nose. Boom. Oh my God, I love this shade. It's so pretty. Okay, since we used the second to last one, now our last palette should be number two, which is obviously the last piece of paper in here, anyway. Um, but this is the last palette. Actually, the last, honestly, a great way to seal this day because today's the day I'm filming this. It's June 30th. Um, and so it's the last day of Pride, and ironically, we're finishing up on a Pride palette. Shaking it up in the shade number nine. I'm excited. It's dream big. It's the silver one. Let's, we'll match this, but on this side. Oh. So I had the hope of this look as a whole turn out to be good, turn out to be, I don't know, wearable. It didn't go that way. I will be right back. I'm gonna put on some mascara and lashes and finish off the lips and we'll come back to recap this monstrosity of a I don't even know what to call it. Even my favorite lash. Can't save this look. It's that sad, it's that bad. To recap, honestly, I have no clue how Nikki did it with 171 palettes and I could barely do it with 15. I feel like if I had more palettes, I would definitely have a Venetia time to, I don't know, figure out what to place colors. Honestly, I just threw colors on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to leave a comment telling me which side do you like best? Do you like my, well, your left, but my right, my left, your right. There we go. Whichever one you like best, sound off below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, put that bell notification on so you know when I post in a new video. Make sure to follow me on all my socials, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Um, they're all different, so they're all gonna be down below, but around the screen. But just know it's basically just Jorge or just MUA, and then search that one up. My little beautiful face should pop up, and if it doesn't, it's not me. Don't follow that person. We're not giving them free promo. Okay, um, but besides that, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.